Hey there, John and Pena Sports. So, got our first look at the offense. Had some highs, had some lows. But you know what? At least we got to see some starters. So, wrote down some negatives and positives for the offense and defense. We'll go over them real quick, and I'll just give my you know, overall take on what I thought. It's obviously, this is got, there has to be right above everything. There has to be, this is preseason, folks. So, I've, and listen. I'm 35 years old, and all my years I've seen us go 4-0 in preseason and come out and just have the most awful seasons. You know, I've, I've seen us go 0-4 and, and win Super Bowls, you know, play, be playoff team. So I try not to put too much into this. I will say this. The Giants started to play the whole half, and that's good. I mean, it needed to be happen. It needed to happen. I wish they would have maybe first game do a drive second game done like a quarter or something like that I, I just i wish i would have had more time because you know listen practices is, yeah that's all well and you're drilling against other teams but real live game you know what i mean gameplay there's nothing like it all right so let's talk about i'll toss out the defense the negatives there really wasn't much i mean the penalties were a little aggravating and the first i believe it was the patriots first drive they ripped off a big run blake martinez missed a huge tackle and you know that led to a field goal so that was really you know penalties and that one missed tackle is really all i can kind of complain about uh were defense and i kind of figured they'd struggle a little bit more in the past game because of dory jackson wasn't out there you know so that was good to see uh a positive obviously blake martinez a huge interception uh lorenzo carter really popped especially in the first drive or two he had like three he had three pressures uh a sack uh Ronarius williams flashed at moments that was good you know dexter lawrence had a sack it was a coverage sack i believe but overall, the defense was good. You know, as a, as a whole, as we've seen, you know, they kind of Graham just kind of schemed schemed the pressures and, and blitzed in timely moments and did good. Now the offense, there was some negatives. Slayton had a drop, and killed a drive. The offensive line really like really really struggled the first couple drives. You know, it seemed by the time three to four half. They had gotten it together a little bit. They weren't just completely collapsing in on Jones. Andrew Thomas was not good. I, from what I see here, two sacks allowed. Uh, he had a holding penalty, which really hurt. And, you know, last year was his rookie year. I, I was not concerned, but if he's going to play like... I don't know. I'm concerned about Andrew Thomas at this point. He is so scared to let anybody inside of him. It's not good. It's just not good. And us Giants fans, you know, we went through two left. We went through, we had to deal through years and years of air flowers. We don't need, we don't deserve that. We, we don't need to go through this again. I, I like this Scotia staff, so I'm just going to have faith in them that they get this shit right with Andrew Thomas. But it just does not look good at this point. You know, and that Daniel Jones, that really they they harped on a play a little short pass or whatever didn't even care about that a whole lot you, you know right there me personally i want something a little bit deeper i think what he was doing is he was sitting on sterling shepherd because it was man coverage curling out and sterling shepherd got held and it just made the play look way worse in retrospect he should have took the quick pass but i'm not gonna kill him over a little ticky tack shit like that to me but that interception down there was ugly and in my opinion We've seen some ugly Daniel Jones plays, but a lot of that's just his arm getting hit or something or just extending plays and stuff to the back of the end zone. I mean, that was just a miss. That's as big of a miss as I've seen in his career. That is an ugly interception, and I felt awful. I felt awful. Probably I got like a, just a shitty feeling when I saw that, and if, if the starters were pulled off the field that moment, I would be super negative, super, super negative, but obviously gets the ball back for a two-minute drive and just do, 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 do down the field and for the most part even with all the shit even with the pocket collapse and constant pressure he made plays a couple times or at least once he scrambled out got a first down on a third down with his legs and just a sweet touchdown to Caden Smith right there so you know I, 
listen, it's preseason. I don't know what to feel. That was an ugly pass. I've never, you know, in my opinion, we haven't seen many passes like that in Jones's career, so I don't expect it. It was kind of a weird rollout kind of thing, but that's just woof. Uh, the touchdown pass was nice, really nice, though. Uh, you give Caden Smith a chance out there, and he makes plays. What do you know? Us Giants fans have been calling for that for a while. But positives, I thought Evan Ingram had a couple of nice plays. Uh, Sterling Shepard had a few nice plays. But with Slayton, you know, you get a couple a couple of nice plays out of him here and there, and then you get a drop. So it just kind of kills momentum for the guy. Drives me nuts. Overall, though, I thought the defense was on point. We know what this defense is, but they were, to me, were surprisingly good, even without a Dory Jackson out there. So bonus all around. Darius looked way, 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 way better in this game. Uh, out there with the starters than the other game. Uh, and I even caught a little bit in the second half. He knocked down a touchdown uh, touchdown pass. So I'm not worried about the defense at all. They're right where I expect them to be. I wish the offense would have had a lot more time, you know, in preseason for some game action. Nate Soldier started out at right tackle. They did sprinkle in Matt Parrott. I don't remember if he gave up a really bad pressure or a sack. Uh, I know everybody right now, that's that's kind of like the whipping boy. Everybody wants to, uh, you know, jump on Mayor Part, Matt Parrott and be worried about him. I'm really not. I mean, obviously, he probably should have started last year. Cause then you would have had teams really, you know, scheming up stuff to get to him. So I don't think teams really did that. And when Parrott was on the field last year, I thought he did really good. Uh, and obviously, he needs to keep his feet moving. That's, that's a problem of his. You know, he lunges a little and his feet stop moving. Uh, but Andrew Thomas, I, I don't know if it's the nerves. I mean, that's just what I'm hoping it, what I want to spoil the whole boils down to is just his nerves. Because I am super nervous about Andrew Thomas. The way he just played, I'm sorry. You cannot, cannot be a starting left tackle and just give your outside like that. You need to compete. Really, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just baffled and the way, because the, this is, the, here's the thing, uh, the talent is there, you know, these guys are so talented, they're, they're athletically, the way they're long, they were built to play this position in the NFL, just their strength, length, all that, I don't know if it's a mental thing, what it is, but it needs to get fixed because this has been killing us for so long. And I have to sit on here and question it. It's ridiculous. And I get it's only a half of a preseason, but listen, four pressures and one half, two sacks, a hold. I mean, we're talking Eric Flowers territory. We didn't even see him. We didn't even see Andrew Thomas doing that his rookie year. And he had moments in the first half where he was awful, awful. You know, and it ain't just being beat to the, I mean, listen, he was getting beat to the outside consistent bunch plays, even when they weren't a sacks. And then he just got yoked up right up the middle by a second, by a second round player. I mean, I get he's a strong kid and all that. Uh, listen, this preseason, you're, these boys are they're playing for their career. You know, there's a lot of money on the line here. <sighs> don't know uh overall i feel like the offense is okay they did double the patriots time of possession they had almost double they had like 19 minutes the patriots 10 uh but the first the first quarter the giants had the ball 10 10 minutes possession time and at 40 yards so that's not good again the scheme is just ass and i know what you guys are going to come back with oh it's only preseason only preseason well, no, a lot of this is our base offenses, and it is what it's going to be, is what we're seeing. Well, first day, first first week of the season, now we're going to run 80% of all these plays that we haven't been running in preseason and practices. No, I don't see it. That just wouldn't make no sense. I mean, you could just take an automatic L your first week of the season if you did that. So, no, I think a lot of what you're seeing is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is, and it's just... It's not fun to watch. I gotta be honest with you, this offensive scheme is not fun. It really is just kind of like stay ahead of the chains. And just the one thing I don't like about it is just one negative player almost guarantees derailing a drive. 
so I just hate it. One hole, it's done. You're punting. <laughs> Not a fan of that. I mean, I'll hopefully they can every week work in like five or ten new plays that we haven't seen. That's kind of my hope, but I don't know. The scheme's not great. Andrew Thomas has got me real nervous right now. They're the negatives. Normally, I'm pretty positive on my channel, but them two things right now, I'm very nervous about. Week one coming up, I mean, Denver, I'll have a video out on that very, very winnable game, obviously. Teddy Bridgewater just got announced quarterback, so... I don't know. We'll see how it all works out. Uh, sorry I didn't have any videos out this week. I just got the COVID vaccine, and man, that stuff just zonked me. I'm up for like five, six hours. I'm I'm drowsy, groggy. I go right back to sleep, so it's been rough just even staying awake. Uh, hang in there. appreciate you guys. Just keep coming back and watching all my videos. You're awesome, and uh, peace.